hey guys it's your girl Vanessa here welcome back to another video in today's video i share with you an amazing high growth oil that you can use once a week for extreme high growth this oil is extremely potent because it's got some amazing nutrients in it that are known to help promote healthy high growth and also it will help you you know to get longer thicker and healthier looking hair so i definitely suggest that you keep on watching and you watch till the end of the video guys so you don't miss out or any useful information now before we dive into it thank you so much if you're a returning subscriber i really appreciate love and support if it's your first time here on vanessa i make natural hair videos including lots of diys like this so consider subscribing to join the family so the first ingredient for this recipe guys would be some coconut oil now coconut oil has something called lauric acid which helps to bind the protein in the hair it protects the roots and strands and prevent them from breaking and it also has antioxidants that certainly help to boost you know healthy hair growth coconut oil can actually penetrate the hair shaft as well protecting it against you know environment uh, environmental pollutants and excess heat so really really good i added about maybe a tablespoon uh, or just over a tablespoon of coconut oil but again you can make more guys if you want to then the next ingredient will be some olive oil now I just love olive oil because it's really really good for hair it's really moisturizing it's high in vitamin E that certainly helps you know to stimulate the hair follicles in order to help you know with hair growth and you also got other amazing vitamins in it which is just amazing so I used about I think it was like half a cup of coconut oil but again you can use more guys um just don't stick to these quantities if you don't want to then the next ingredient will be some amla powder now amla powder is really good i just started using amla powder actually from you know recommendations from you guys and i really loved it and i just i'm just trying to find ways you know to incorporate this into my regimen um so yeah amla powder is really good because it conditions your scalp, it promotes healthy hair growth, it improves the tone of the hair, minimizes grays, it boosts you know volume, it reduces dandruff, and treats head lice as well. And then after that, we went in with some moringa powder. Now moringa powder is a powerhouse, guys. It's so full of vitamins, including A and B, which are known to promote hair growth. Also has iron, which prevents hair loss. Zinc also promotes you know healthy hair um, hair growth in general. And also it's got amino acids in it, which helps to nourish the hair strands and you know keep it nice and full and healthy. And also vitamin C and E fight against oxidative stress. Omega 3 nourishes the hair. So really, really good. It's literally just like a powerhouse and it's so good for the hair, guys. And then after that, I went in with some coffee. Now the coffee that I'm using is decaf, but the reason why that is is because I didn't have normal coffee in my house so i'll suggest that for this recipe guys you use actual coffee that has all of the caffeine in it Def decaf coffee still have caffeine but it doesn't have as much i think it's about three percent caffeine so um we want the caffeine basically because that's the active ingredient in the coffee that we're looking for so the caffeine can actually help stimulate hair growth it stops hair loss a study in 2007 actually found that caffeine helped block the effects of ghd in male hair follicles it stimulated hair shaft elongation resulted in longer and wider hair roots now the truth is I have never actually used coffee in the past um, in my DIYs. You know, this was actually recommended by one of my subscribers on Instagram. Definitely follow me on Instagram, guys. I do share some stuff there that I don't, you know, share on YouTube. Um, so yeah, she did message me on Instagram asking whether I had ever tried coffee before. I was like, no, nope, I've never tried coffee in my hair regimen before. And what I did, I decided to do a bit of research on coffee, you know and i found some amazing stuff that i just told you and i just thought yeah i'm definitely going to find ways to introduce that into my regimen because it just it seems to be very good i haven't really used it long enough to be able to tell you you know if it's if it has the effect that it says that it has but you know what's on the internet in most cases are things that people have tried and tested and i'm definitely going to give it a bit more of a try and give you guys better feedback in the future so anyways i just mix all of that in together and then did a double boiler method for about 30 minutes just to allow this to you know reduce properly 
and then I took it off the stove and allowed it to rest for a little bit and then I'm going to go ahead and strain this now I'm using a wig cap here but again you can use anything that you've got to strain it so pour the mixture on there and then you now want to just you know lift the wig cap and allow the oil to drain naturally from the little holes of the wig cap now you don't want to squeeze because remember we've got amla powder in this and we've also got moringa powder which will definitely get through um the holes of the wig cap so don't 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 squeeze it just hold it like that and then the oil will definitely drain naturally now you will still have some residue of the powders at the bottom of the oil but if you just sort of transfer it back and forth you know between you know other balls you will find that it, you pretty much get rid of everything from you just wasn't our time our time this is basically what was left behind after i strained it and this is basically what the oil looks like it looks nice and thick which is really really good it kind of had this sim a kind of similar texture to castor oil um except that it wasn't as as thick as that but it was still pretty nice and thick if that kind of makes sense you know when you melt coconut oil you don't get that kind of thick consistency on it but this one you did so i just added that i mean transferred that to um a mason jar just so i can store it and also use it for my hair next time so i'm now going to show you in the next slide how i applied this to my hair and then we're going to talk a little bit more about you know tips on how to maximize hair growth how to stimulate hair growth so definitely make sure you stick around guys so you don't miss out on any good information so my hair at the moment is kind of dry um i mean i don't even know like i was just saying to my sister recently like my hair has been pretty dry recently and i guess it's because i've just been extremely busy with lots of things to be honest um back at work now and to be completely honest i just haven't got time to stick to the routine that i had before because i used to moisturize my hair at least you know twice a week just to keep it nice and moisturized all the time but trust me now i don't get that luxury to do that anymore um so my head does feel a bit dry um but it's fine i'm just showing you guys here how you can apply this to your hair you can apply this basically as a hot oil treatment if you want to so massage that to the scalp including the length of your hair and then put a shower cap on leave it for a few hours and then go ahead and wash it out with shampoo you can do it that way or you can use it just as a hair growth oil just like i'm doing here so by just putting it on your scalp massaging that in nicely and just leaving it in so you don't necessarily need to wash this out um if you don't want to um and you will definitely still reap the benefits because it's just amazing now scalp massages are great for hair growth guys because it improves you know blood circulation around the scalp area and we all know more blood you know flow means more nutrition you know to the follicles and that certainly can help accelerate the hair growth process and also it can help thicken your hair as well so if you've got some areas on your hair that perhaps are thin or perhaps hair is not growing from as quickly as you would like to definitely make sure that you do scalp massages on a regular basis now it's one of those things that it's not always easy to remember to do to be honest and i found that i do less scalp massages nowadays than i used to before because i'm not really in my head that often like i was um like i said you know for reasons that you know i'm just i'm just really busy right now to be honest it just i'm just trying to you know juggle this youtube having a family and working and all of that so yeah, i guess you can kind of understand where i'm coming from um but yeah when you certainly get the chance definitely make sure that you massage your scalp nicely because it will certainly help you you know uh, grow, grow that thick hair that you're perhaps looking for give this video a thumbs up if you made it to this stage i really appreciate it thumbs up the video guys is really important because it really, really helps youtube push my videos forward towards you know more people and yeah and also like the video like i said subscribe if you're not already and then um 
leave me a comment you know i always read my comments and i do try my best to answer them i might answer a little bit late but i still get round to it so yeah definitely leave me a comment let me know what you think whether you're going to try this and if you try it you know what did you think of it and uh yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you in my next video so take care bye